In tonight's Government Insider, we continue our weekly series focused on the stars of the federal workplace. The Service to America medals, or SAMIs, honor federal workers who show a commitment to government and make the agencies they work for stronger. The awards are put on by our friends at the Partnership for Public Service. You'll meet a new finalist here on Capital Insider every Thursday night. Gretchen Campbell is a physicist at the National Institute of Standards and Technology. She's a leader in the new theoretical field of atomtronics, paving the way for a new generation of technology. Gretchen is a finalist for the Call to Service Medal. Gretchen, congratulations on your nomination. Thank you. Well, first of all, explain atomtronics. Well, to be honest, that's something we're still figuring out for ourselves. So my research con concerns ultra-cold atoms, and what we're doing is we're studying the properties of these atoms and trying to see if we can make so-called atomtronic circuits. So the idea is to try to make new types of device and sensors that behave in some way similar to electronics. But whereas in electronics, you have electrons carried on wires, in our atomtronic circuits, they would be driven by our ultra-cold atomic systems. All right, and while you may not have come up with the idea of atomtronics, your colleagues say all of the breakthroughs in the field have come from you. What's the hardest part about working in such a new, uncharted field? Well, you know, in this kind of field, we really don't know what's going to happen. So it's a lot of exploration and trying new things, and sometimes they work out, sometimes they don't. And we're constantly having to come up with new technologies and new techniques in order to try to make the experiments work and make the circuits we're trying to make. So we're talking about the hypothetical, the theoretical, but what future potential does atomtronics have in the real world? What well, applications could we see? Well, you know, we actually do have some experiments, so we're working on some very early experiments right now. And right now what we've been focusing on is a, a type of circuit that could be used as a rotation sensor. So it could be used as, you know, it could be used to help with navigation or things like that. Now, this is really just a proof of principle. I'm not sure if this would really be, a, you know, be able to push the limits on rotation sensing compared to other systems. But our atoms have really special properties, and we're hoping to come up with new types of, of devices and sensors that actually surpass the abilities of conventional electronics. Before you go, I'd like to know what, why you chose to go into public service when there are so many options in the private sector. So what drew you to NIST? Well, it turns out NIST was actually instrumental in me deciding I wanted to be a physicist. NIST has a fantastic summer research program for undergraduates, and I was very lucky that as an undergraduate, I spent two summers at NIST. I love the experience. I love the research. I love the environment. And it was actually that experience that made me decide I wanted to go on to graduate school. So I was very lucky that when it was time for me to look for a job, I was able to return to NIST. And in fact, I actually work in the same lab today I worked in as an undergraduate. It's a fantastic place to work and do the kind of research that I want to do. Gretchen Campbell, physicist with the National Institute of Standards and Technology. Thanks and good luck to you, Gretchen. Thank you.